So before we talk about your business and, and where you're going, can you just give a little bit of right off the bat advice? If somebody wanted, that's listening, and I'm sure there is, that wants to be a private chef or a personal chef, and maybe you could talk about that, is there a difference? And then yeah. how? what would you tell them is the best way? What was the best approach, the most efficient approach for them to do that? Would it be your route, or is there some other possibility? Yeah, there's. I'll tell you the difference first. So what I consider... A personal chef works for many different families or individuals. They usually have a service that they offer. And like I said, will work for anywhere from three to 10 clients at a time. A private chef usually works for one family or business at a time. They could be under contract. They could be on payroll um, or hourly. But usually you're committed for a certain amount of time to that one family. Okay, makes sense. Yep. And then you had said, how do, if people want to get into it, there's a lot of ways. Like you said, I, you could approach people doing it now and saying, hey, can I come work for you? Or are you hiring? You could take a course and learn how to set it up yourself. You could put feelers out in your community and kind of do it as a hobby first. Like people used to post on Craigslist or Nextdoor, you know, mm -hmm like those platforms and say, I'm doing meals for the week, who wants it for a low price and then just get experience. Um, I am big on just doing it right the first time and just learn how to set up the business. And then you will get clients and get it going. Whereas if you don't, you're kind of always working backwards. Like chefs will come to me now and be like, I have 10 clients, but I don't know how to charge people. I have no money in my account. And, you know, it's all backwards. Like you should learn. I think you should learn that first. Sure. It's a business. 